All right, so we're back. We're using Fundamentals of Financial Management book by Brigham and Houston. And we're going to look at preferred stock rate of return. This is specifically part of stock valuation. And in terms of model, this falls into the zero growth model. Uh, so the question says, what will be the nominal rate of return on a perpetual preferred stock with a $100 par value? and a state dividend of 8% of par and a current market price of $60, then the price changes at 60, 80, 100, and $140. So real quick, let's put into this our model. The model says P0 equals to D1 divided by R. And remember, because preferred stocks represent zero growth, that is why you don't see any G in this particular formula. So let's use the situation for situation A, and let's use this formula for situation A. Because we want to calculate the rate of return, we're going to solve this equation for R. So let's do that first. Uh, solving this equation for R, we're going to go ahead and shift the P down, P to the other side, and the R to the left-hand side. So that means that our equation is going to be R equals to D1 divided by P0. Now with this, we're gonna go ahead and solve for each one because we can calculate a dividend and we can calculate a price. We already have a price in fact. So now let's see what our dividend is going to be. Our dividend is going to be the percentage of dividend declared, that's 8%, so 0 0.08 and $100 par value, so 0 0.08 of $100 will give us an $8 dividend. So that means that for part A, R is going to be equal to eight divided by 60. And when we go ahead and put that into a calculator, we get 0 0.1333 or 13.33%. All right, now for part B, part B has a price of $80. So R will equal to 8 divided by 80. And of course, 8 divided by 80 is simply equal to 10%. So 0 0.10 or 10%. All right, now part C has $100, so R equals to 8 over 100. When we put that into our calculator, we get 0 0.08 or 8%. That's it. And the last one for $140, so R equals to 8 over 140. Let's go ahead and put that into our calculator. 8 over 140 is equal to 0.0571 or 5.71%. Now, the important thing to understand in this question is it's not a futile exercise. The purpose of this entire calculation is to show you that as price increases, return on a zero growth stock will decrease because a preferred stock has a fixed dividend. And so by the, by the law of proportions, because the denominator is increasing, the required rate of return is going to decrease. Keep this in mind for the other way around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.